Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. Today we want to look at 1 Chronicles chapter 29 reading from verse 10 to verse 20. We will see David's praise is prayer of thanksgiving. David was so happy and he blessed God for all the offerings that the people brought to God for the building of his house. A prayer of praise by the king and not only by the king but we will see in verse 20 the people also the people realized that whatever they had it came from God and as their king would have taught them whatever we give to God it should cost us it should be a sacrifice so David prayed a public prayer of praise and thanksgiving he acknowledged that the gifts for the temple were from God himself he also prayed for his son Solomon's spiritual development because he was young the people all joined David in his spirit of praise and the petition and we see that in first Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 20 in this magnificent prayer he praised the Lord as worthy of all honor exalted as head over all and as the source of all riches and honor he acknowledged that he and his people were unworthy to give to God and that they gave and what they gave came from God anyway. He prayed that the present devotion which he asked of God for them, an upright heart of his people would become a permanent trait of a heart that is fixed on God. And that his son Solomon would have a loyal heart in building the temple. So as we look at First Chronicles chapter 29, reading from verse 10, we see David's magnificent praise and thanks to God. David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly saying praise be to you Lord the God of our father Israel from everlasting to everlasting yours Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours yours Lord is the kingdom you are exalted as head over all wealth and honor come from you you are the ruler of all things in your hands are strength and power to exalt and to give strength to all 
Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you and we have given you only what comes from your hand. We are foreigners and strangers in your sight. As we were, as were our ancestors, our days on earth are like a shadow without hope. Lord or God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a temple for your holy name comes from your hand and all of it belongs to you. I know, my God, that you test the heart and are pleased with integrity. All these things I have given willingly and with honest intent. And now I have seen with joy how willingly your people who are here have given to you. Lord, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, keep these desires and thoughts in the hearts of your people forever and keep their hearts loyal to you and give my son Solomon the wholehearted devotion to keep your commands, statutes, and decrees and to everything and to do everything, sorry, to build the structure for which I have provided. Then David said to the whole assembly, Praise the Lord your God. So they all praised the Lord, the God of their fathers. They bowed down, prostrating themselves before the Lord and the King. So as we see what happened, there is a 18-fold praise to God by David, then joined by the people. As we rehearse, we are reminded, he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. In verse 10, he says, Yours is the greatness the power, the glory, the victory, the majesty in verse 11. He says, all that is in heaven and in earth, it is yours. You are the exalted head of all. He says, both riches and honor comes from you. He says, not only that, you reign supreme over all. He says, in, his, in your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great. He says, you give strength to all. We thank you and praise your glorious name. In verse 13, he says, all things come from you. In verse 14, that which we have given you came from you anyway. He says, we are only strangers and sojourners like our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow and there is none abiding. He goes on to say, all this store which we have prepared
feared for your temper came from you. In verse 16, he says, you try the arts. Verse 17, he knew that your motives were right. He says, you have pleasure in uprightness. Then he declares, God, as for me, I have willingly offered all these things. But he says, I have seen the joy of your people who have also offered willingly to you. In St. Matthew 6, verse 33, we see where Jesus says, Listen, when you are called to service, to salvation, or to deliverance, we should make use of the opportunity. And he says, Then when we come, we must seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Do his will. Obey his word. Give praise and thanks for who he is and his works. As we see, the king did and was imploring his people. He says, I ask of you three last requests. Keep this spirit of liberal and spontaneous giving in the hearts of, of your people. For how long? Verse 18 says, forever. He says, give to Solomon, my son, a perfect heart to keep your commandments, your testimonies and your statues to do all these things and to build the place for which I have made provision in verse 19 and of course in verse 20 the people fall down prostrate upon their faces and worship God how oh, willing they were, how oh, delighted they were, how oh, joyously they gave because they knew they were only returning to God some of what he has given them. So let us today not be stingy, whether it's our time, whether it's our talent, whether it's our treasure, or whether it is our own body which is the temple not to want to willingly give it back to God who gave it to us so whether it is finance or whatever else it is that we must use to give God glory and to build his kingdom let us remember we will not be at a lost when we do because we are only giving back to God anyway some of what we he has blessed us with let us learn today from what these people did and how appreciative the king was when he saw the willing and the spontaneousness of the giving of the people to build a house of God if God has called you into service of any kind, please do it with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, and with all your strength, knowing that you will be rewarded. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, also share. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with a lady feed.